Portland International Raceway is built on the former location of Van Port, Oregon, which was destroyed on Memorial Day, May 30, 1948, when a railroad berm broke in water from the Columbia River flooded the city. After the flood, all that remained were the paved streets and concrete foundations of destroyed buildings. The first races took place on these old city streets in 1961 during the Portland Rose Festival. Since then, the Rose Cup has become an annual event. Racing at West Delta Park, as PIR was known back then, was quite dangerous. Racers leaving the track unexpectedly could collide with leftover concrete foundations or fall into ponds. Due to the deteriorating safety of the competitors, the track was paved in the early 1970s. Beginning in 1984, Portland International began hosting the cars and stars of the Champ Car World Series, with Al Unser Jr. taking first win, driving a Cosworth-powered march. At the end of 2007 and the beginning of 2008, PIR went through a track renovation. The track was repaved with new asphalt and some minor changes were made to the track layout. Turns 4 to 7 were widened. The fence on the inside of Turn 6 was moved to provide a better sightline through the corner. Turn 7 was sharpened to slow down racers prior to entering the back straight. Formula One-style curbs were also installed on the track. The track reopened on February 23, 2008, with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. The track hosts the Indy Car Series, ICSCC and SCCA and OMRRA Road Racing, the NASCAR K&N Pro Series West, and SCCA Autocross events. The facility includes a drag strip and a motocross track. The road course is almost perfectly flat and runs clockwise. Two track configurations are possible. One includes a hard chicane at the end of the front straight and involves 12 turns at length of 1.945 miles, or 3.13 kilometers. Without the chicane, the track has 9 turns and a lap length of 1.915 miles, or 3.08 kilometers. Porsche GT3 Cup is a car I didn't completely mess with. Without changing the tire pressure and wheel inclination settings, the car is often unmanageable. From 165 and 155 kPa I went up to 130 and 122 kPa. I increased the inclination of the wheels at the front and rear by 2.5 degrees. Thanks to the adjustment of the settings, the car held much better in corners, but also when braking. Nevertheless, the car has a lot of limits, which are most often manifested when exiting corners and braking. The GT3 Cup has no abs, traction control and lacks the high pressure of the GT3R and 911 RSR when cornering, forcing you more often lift your foot off the accelerator pedal. Sometimes just a steeper movement of the steering wheel is enough and you will not keep the car on the road. If you do not have turn assistance on, this will probably surprise you. The result of my test is a below average time of 118.434 per lap.
I enjoy the GT3R version of Porsche a lot. It is powered by a 4-liter, atmospheric 6-cylinder tuned for 500 horsepower, which is almost identical to the street-legal engine GT3 Rupees. It's a car that I didn't need to tune in to the tire settings right from the start and other parameters. The car was well controlled, driven, and drove off corners with his foot on the accelerator pedal. In short, you enjoy better driving characteristics. Joy to look at, in the hand and in the foot. I love this car and the time was much better, 114.295 per lap. I initially struggled with the latest Porsche GTE variant. The car did not hold well in the corners and the exits from them often ended as you can see. Something needed to be done for better grip on the road, so I changed the slow bump, fast bump and packer settings to lower values. Of course, I changed the settings for the front and rear axles so that the car is in a certain balance.
After changing the parameters, the car's behavior improved significantly. The car kept a decent track when cornering and did not have much of a tendency to overturn. He has begun I was thus overtaking my opponents, which was a lot more fun than waiting the lawn along the way. In a few laps, I reached a time of 113.696 per lap, which could definitely be improved. The difference between the Porsche GT3R and the GTERSR is not that great. The difference is, for example, that the GTE is a car thanks to supercharged engine and a smaller cooling system lighter. The biggest change, however, is that the engine has been moved ahead of the rear axle. An exterior cue to this change is the much larger rear diffuser. The relocated engine redistributes weight favorably, but more importantly it reduces tire wear so that the RSR can race for two stints before needing fresh rubber.